Everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives, episode 64. I'm your host, Mike McCarty, and today, as you can see, we have a special jacked guest on the show, John Romanello from Roman Fitness Systems. Let's link up his YouTube and uh, I think website below. I don't know if we can do good. Website. I don't know. We can do it. We'll do so, some all right. magic. I'm, I'm great. Fantastic. We are here in New York reviewing the Starbucks cinnamon buns latte like like dessert drink which is equal to calorically and very close in macros this root beer float where we couldn't even fit all of the ice cream this is um this is a tremendous food this is like 12 ounces of root beer and three scoops of ice cream which is enormous it's a ton by of any standard cream. yeah um you can't try this so, can't. so i'm going to go for it yeah you, no you, you can explain why you can't <laughs> so i made i made a vow earlier this year on february 3rd i decided to give up uh, the holy trinity of pleasures. I gave up alcohol, ice cream, and masturbation for a year. It has been uh, 156 days, so 46 days, 146 days so far. Insane. Uh, I, I have not had ice cream. Interestingly though, I only ever had my first root beer float about six months ago, like right okay. before I did that. I, I was, yeah, it's, I just, but ice cream, like you are an ice cream fan. You I'm an ice cream the guy. The Monster Challenge at Ben yeah. & Jerry's multiple times. Right, every like, time a new Ben & Jerry's flavor comes out, I'm like, this is it. You have ice cream on your nose for this video. No, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, so yeah, I know, to give it up was, uh, was pretty huge. I don't even know what this is, but I assume there's ice cream in it. I mean, I don't know if there's ice cream in it. It's a, it's a specialty drink. I'm astounded at the number of people who don't understand that like, coffee drinks are not all created equal. The skinny latte with skim milk and sugar-free syrup is 130 calories, whereas something like this, for like, the same amount of, the same volume of, of content, is 610 calories. 610 calories. That is a lot. So you're getting... It's, it's amazing to me that this giant root beer float has only 610 calories. That's, that's unbelievable. It's like kind of nice. I don't even know why I gave up ice cream now. Now I, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> By next year, you cannot yeah. get back on the float. Okay. Let's, so the, I think the real value in today's episode comes from the alternative. Um, and I forgot the alternative yesterday, which was just eating Oreos because Oreos are awesome. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pull out the alternative. All right, so um, both good. Uh, we've got something better. So you still haven't you still haven't masturbated, you still haven't eaten ice cream, but how is the alcohol going? Alcohol didn't go so well. We made it we made it 93 days. Um it's respectable. I think so. So I've stayed from alcohol for 93 days uh, because I felt maybe this would help me be more productive or maybe it would help me make better dietary decisions. And all it did was um, I, I stopped going out and doing things because you know. Uh, but it wasn't overly difficult. You get to the point where it's easy to abstain, and now you're just doing it because you said you would do it, and that seemed kind of silly. So I've worked alcohol back in. I got stressed during the launch, and uh, I said I don't want to drink during a period of high stress, so I'm gonna wait, and then once the launch was over, I decided to celebrate, because I think it's probably not a good idea to use alcohol as a coping mechanism for kids. I don't think that's what it is. Um, and so now I've got this new philosophy where I am drunk all the time. It's great. I just coming off of a bachelor come, party. Yeah, yes, nice yeah, I just went, yeah, and uh, we, I was drunk for like six days straight. But a lot of people, there's this huge debate in the fitness community, right, about whether or not alcohol makes you fat. And typically, it does because people have problems with self-control. And alcohol, in and of itself, as we'll show you in just a moment, is not going to make you fat. But Getting drunk often leads to bad dietary decisions. So if you can avoid that, I think that you can drink quite a lot to the point where maybe you're even, um, you know, drinking drinking quite often, quite close often. to a functioning alcohol. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in Iceland, I, we we were there with a group of ten guys, and each of us drank close to a bottle a day. So, and, you know, and like we're talking about maintenance, right? You, right. Like, you can't lose a pound of fat a week, right? Every day, but so, so I was away for a week. I drank every day, but I made great dietary choices. And actually, now that the bloating has gone away, I'm down about a pound and a half. So this is pretty good. Uh, so this is this is a new nutritional philosophy, which you guys are hearing about first, right here on Equals and Alternatives. Yes. And we are calling it all drunk, no junk. And the goal here is that no matter how much alcohol you drink, you still have to hit your macros, which can be difficult when you are in the throes of partying and it's three in the morning, and all you want is to go to the diner and get pancakes served on a waffle which is delicious. That's what you have to pass up though, Talk. All right, we may or may not have cut out there. This is a one-take show, nothing weird happened, I promise. Technical difficulties. Um, 
All right, so you're you're in Iceland. Right. Talk about like specifically what you were eating. Right. So the goal again is is not to eat crappy foods just because you're drinking a lot. And um, anytime you go on vacation, I mean, you get into vacation, you just want to make bad dietary decisions. So I decided to just make it as simple as possible. So my diet every day was at least six eggs, uh, a full tub of skier, which is a thick Icelandic yogurt, and so that's about two cups of that. In each serving, I would try to mix one to three scoops of a chocolate protein powder that I brought with me uh, from my friends over on it. So from that alone, I was getting around 150 to 170 grams of protein just from the eggs, the skier, and the protein powder. So pretty high protein. And, and, and like uh, moderate-ish fat and very low carbs. Very low carbs. Yep. And then we'd go out to dinner every night and I would have some sort of big steak and veggies, almost no potatoes. I was training every day. Um, I only made it to a full gym one time, but I did bodyweight workouts every single day. And then other than that, I was just, just taking bourbon to the dome. And, um, but I was making it fit my macro. So let's, uh, let's, let's start playing here. I think you're gonna have to use your teeth, bro. Get, a, get in there. Ah. This is now, now you look like a pirate. Let's start playing around. Bro, I'm gonna, this is amazing. If I screw this up, then this thing is stuck in here. I was gonna. Now I can't. Believe it. I mean, I can't. Oh, always oh, be. Nope. Just push it in. All right. So now we have to drink all of this. Okay. Six shots. There's an ounce and a half of liquor in a shot. Right. Um, Each shot has about right. 90 so calories. Um, 70 to 90 calories. Yeah. 70 in an ounce, about a, about 100 in a full shot. Right, so let's call that right there. That is one shot of delicious Woodford Reserve double wood. Dude, it's poured over the glass. You're wasting it. This is this is criminal. Oh my god. Alright, there, there he goes. Alright. Dude, oh, you're not very good at this. Four more. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. just gonna drink this. You just drink that. Up. I will let the pro show you. It's done. Um, what, what we want to do here is show you, you gotta go to the rim for an ounce and a half. I know, but I'm, I'm assuming that the amount you're dripping, and honestly I'd rather not waste this delicious wood for it because at some point we're gonna drink it. I'd really like to show everyone, what, six ounces. Oh my god. Or Nine those five, ounces, right? Those five? Yep. That's what we just get a little extra in there for what we spilled. Okay, so right here, you see that we've we've tanked about half a bottle of the Woodford. This, Nine ounces of liquor is a lot. It's a lot, and this is about 600 calories. Okay, and like you're not you're not mixing this with regular Coca-Cola or some kind of right. No, like mostly. Listen, if if you're a whiskey drinker, if you're an aficionado, if you like good bourbon, most of the time you're gonna have, if you like a cocktail, you're gonna have something like an Old Fashioned. But even the stuff in there can add up Old Fashioned or Manhattan. There are other mixers in there, there's sugar in there. So you just gotta man up. And honestly, all I did while I was there is had a nice rocks glass, a thick ice cube, and an ounce to two ounces of bourbon. And that is, and that is the drink. That is the drink of men and of warriors and of people who want to write drunk and edit sober, as uh, Hemingway suggested. Let's let us let us go a hair deeper. We've talked before on the show about going deeper than just calories, macros, everything that's going on this right. next. You guys are getting smart. Like, five episodes of this, you're going to understand, hey, don't have this. Um, other than the fact that, say, a heavy beer has sure. more carbohydrates, which we're trying to avoid, right. um, give me some other points for avoiding beer or maybe going with a, a hard liquor. Sure. Well, obviously, Calorically, it's it's a no-brainer. Most people are drinking alcohol for two reasons. One, because they enjoy the taste of it or the experience of it. And two, because they want to get drunk, right? Uh, and so the goal for us was to get drunk, not fat. And so in terms of pure efficiency, hard liquor is always going to be better um, because you just have to drink less. So a full beer, to have a comparable amount of alcohol, you know, it's like... Um, one shot will have 100 calories, which is an ounce and a half alcohol. Uh, to get that amount, you're probably going to have to drink eight ounces of beer. It's going to have close to three or 400 calories. So the caloric value just goes up and up and up, not to mention there's extra carbohydrates in there. Um, and you have to drink a lot more. From, a, from a hormonal point of view? Well, from a hormonal point of view, beer is, of all the alcohols, it's going to be the worst because in addition to all alcohol having some sort of uh, immediately acute effect, lo like low level effect on testosterone and then uh, you know potentially long-term effect on other things, um, beer is made with hops, which of all of the things that are commonly ingested in terms of food items uh, is 
has the highest concentration of phytoestrogens. These are plant compounds which bind to existing estrogen receptors in your body. And so, if you like really hoppy craft beers, that's great and more power to you. However, you should be aware that over time, this could potentially have some sort of deleterious effect on natural, natural testosterone production. Impossible to quantify how much, but if the goal, if you don't love beer, and I know there are people who love beer, and I'm not trying to take that away. And if you love beer, drink beer, because yeah. it's like, because whatever. It's a marginal thing. Yeah. Um, but if you are just trying to get drunk, please put away, you know, the natty ice. Stop, stop shotgunning PBR, or whatever shit the hipsters are trying to push on you. Instead, like, up your game. And, uh, and in this particular case, we're talking about bourbon. Um, and so, really, it's if you were to get this amount of calories from alcohol, you'd have either two beers, and I think most of us would not be. Um, or you can have this much liquor spread over a reasonable period of time, and you would be hammered. And if you're on a bad yeah, and, 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 like, yeah. and like you love bourbon, I do. Vodka, tequila, whatever you like, like all liquors are the same color. Yes. Um, but or, this is this is a lot. Yeah. That would be that would be a lot. Don't 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 do this. Um, do this a few times. But really, just an ounce and a half in a nice rocks glass. Nothing nothing looks cooler than a dude sipping brown liquor. I'll tell you. And um, again, it's all about all drunk, no junk. So provided you can do this and not make lousy dietary decisions. Well, sorry, a thousand calories in pizza. I, 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 you got to deal with the elements. Um, right. Right. Like, drink this, have a buddy system in place. Last night, you were like, we're not getting pizza tonight. And no pizza. We're not getting pizza tonight. We didn't get pizza. And that's, and that's the goal. Okay. All drunk, no joke. Cool. Thank you. Right. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for These having These guys all guys. appreciate it. I know that we're uh, about to go train right now about a block down the road. What are you training today? Uh, today is back day. So back day. Today, yeah. So, like, a little metabolic training and then a full back workout. It's going to be great. Awesome. Um, I'm doing a little incline pressing myself, a little bit of shoulders. So, he's got that. Sure, we got the, the cut out here. All right, guys. Question of the day. I, I feel like, given your guest, if you have anything that you want to know about the equals and alternatives oh audience. Oh my goodness, I was not prepared. I'm Question of the day. Okay. Um, it can be training. No, nah, here's what I'd like. To know. When were you in the best shape of your life? And what was your diet like at that point? If it's now, I would love to know that. If it was historically, were you eating clean and were you happy? Were you like, are you, are you measuring macros? But think about the time where you were the best, the leanest that you've been or biggest or whatever, however you quantify or qualify your best aesthetic shape, how were you eating at that time? When was it and how were you eating? I'd love to know. For me, I was 26 years old, I was clean eating like a maniac and I was sure of that in my mind for like four years straight and then like, I started a business and now, now, started business. Yeah, and I started, now, now terrible. But I'm actually, I'm in better shape now, drinking constantly, than I was last year, like, not, not drinking at all. Awesome. Which is good. Um, I might start having you, like, pre-shoot. That's probably the best question of the day we've ever had on the show. I'm terrible at asking that question. Sure, I can, I can just, I'll just pump it in. Good question. All right, guys, thank you. Remember, your body is still counting macros, even if you're not.